Hello and welcome to yet another fireworks tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a nifty web 2.0 foil backed sticker for your website. The first thing you want to do is create a new fireworks document. For the sake of this exercise we're going to work in a 500 by 500 canvas at 72 pixels per inch with a white canvas background. Click OK. The next thing you want to do is you want to draw your circle. Now keep in mind that these instructions um, are pretty much proprietary to Fireworks, but they will work in just about any graphics editing program. Okay, I've drawn my circle, and it's a little bit off. It's 251 width by 249 height. Um, it's easy to make these congruent Fireworks. All you have to do is go down here and type in the correct value, and your circle is adjusted automatically. The next thing you want to do is decide on the color very easy. Let's make a blue sticker. I'm going to select linear here. and I've already got my blue color. We're going to go from light to dark in this exercise instead of dark to light when you're making a glass or reflective uh, type surface. The easiest way to find the darkest color uh, is to select your light color first, then select black at the end of the spectrum, and then using clicking that again using your eyedropper tool, find something that's darker than the color you came out with to begin with but not as dark as black. So go ahead and click that and now you have your circle. Um, of course this lighting isn't realistic because it's directly from uh, the top to the bottom so I want to adjust that a little bit uh, put my dark side over here and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start building my image. So you want to draw a square bump this opacity down a little bit so you can see how much of the uh, circle you're covering and then you want to go free transform uh, swivel it over a little bit so that you can have that curl now we're going to work on the curl portion you need to copy both objects with control C and then paste both objects again with the first object I'm going to select them both both the square and the circle I'm going to click Modify, Combine, and I'm going to Crop. And that's going to give me the first piece. And then I'm going to do it again, except for this time I'm going to select both items and go Combine Paths, and I'm going to Punch. Now we have both, uh, both shapes needed for this exercise. Um, I'm going to put this in the middle again. I'm going to bring this portion to the front because it is the curl. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Bring to Front and I'm going to flip this. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to flip it horizontally first and go back to transform, flip it vertically. Now we have our peel. This uh, peel is quite popular and it's very easy to make it look like foil because most stickers have that foil backing to them. So first you want to select that. Okay, and then go down here to your linear gradient and let's see, starting with the back maybe you have a dark and then a strip of, of light because it is foil and then you go back into like a medium dark and then you might go back into an even darker uh, finish keep in mind that this is uh, like um, let's see it is top to bottom very easy foil effect you want to do something that's kind of subtle it's easy enough just uh, push your points together there we go now it genuinely, lo genuinely looks like that is being peeled away now to make this even more realistic you want to put a shadow underneath the peel so click on your peel click on the filters button shadow and glow drop shadow and since the peel is really close to the second layer in real life if this really was a, a, a sticker you don't want to make that shadow too far down so Let's let's blur it out a little bit. Maybe bring it down a little bit because it's not um, it's not that close. Okay, there is your shadow. The next thing you want to do is maybe make a uh, a border that m makes it look uh, more realistic. So you go to stroke options. Uh, you want to do the stroke on the inside and make it like uh, let's see five pixels on a one pixel soft stroke category. Um, and then you might want to do like an inner glow with uh, with a white color, just to just to give it some uh, some more dimension. 
the the last thing you probably want to do is put some text in there say you are a store owner and you're having a sale something like 50 percent off that's that's a good sale okay put that in the center here but you want to put it down a little bit even though it is in the middle of the circle so that people know that it is you know 50 percent off What am I thinking here? Okay, 50% off. And uh, these instructions are, are, are pretty, uh, pretty universal, pretty self-explanatory. You can make several different colors. Just uh, copy and paste your results here. All you have to do from there is uh, change, basically just change the, the color layup. Um, you know, what colors you use and right there you have a blue one and a red one you can make a green one if you wanted to and pretty much that's how you make a uh, web sticker add your drop shadow make it a little more uh, dimensional alright if you guys got questions hit me up in the sidebar otherwise I will see you next time thank you